Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to present and demonstrate two fundamental results in probability. The total probability theorem and Bayes' theorem. Let's discover the maths. Suppose that we have a population and that it's divided into different parts. For example, it might be a nation that's divided into regions or provinces, or a group of people that's divided by, say, age range. In mathematics, we can model a situation like this by a set E that's partitioned into a series of subsets, A1, A2, and so on, up to AN such that they're two by two disjoint, in other words, considered two by two, they have no common elements, and the union of these subsets is the total set. Now, suppose that for each subset, we know the probability that an event B will be satisfied. Expressed in the language of probability, we know the probability of B occurring in each AI. That is, we know the conditional probabilities P, B, AI. We might ask ourselves, what's the probability that event B occurs in the whole set? In other words, we want to calculate P, B. If we plot B in a diagram, we have that B is the disjoint union of the intersection of B with each of the AI. Then the probability of B is the probability of the intersection of B with A1, union, the intersection of B with A2, and so on, until we come to union with the intersection of B and AN. Since these events constitute partitions of B, the probability of this union is the sum of these probabilities. Now, if we consider an event AI, the conditional probability formula tells us that the probability of B conditional on AI is the probability of the intersection divided by the probability of AI. So, multiplying up by the probability of AI, we obtain this expression for the probability of B intersection AI. For each I, we'll substitute in the previous expression, so we have the probability of B intersection AI, which is the probability of B conditional on AI times the probability of A1, plus the probability of B intersection A2, which is the probability of B conditional on A2 times the probability of A2, and so on. Finally, adding on the probability of B intersection AN, which is the probability of B conditional AN times probability of AN. And there we have it. The probability of B in terms of the probability of B relative to each AI and the probability of each AI. This equality is known as the total probability theorem. And it's valid when we work with partitions of the sample space. Now, notice that in the total probability theorem, we have some conditional probabilities. The probabilities of B conditional on each of the AI. In Bayes' theorem, we'll obtain the conditional probabilities in reverse. That is, the probabilities of AI conditional on B for each I. Using the conditional probability formula, this would be the probability of the intersection divided by the probability of the second term. Above, we had the probability of AI intersected with B, which is the same as B intersected with AI. We'll substitute the expression obtained previously, which is the probability of B conditional on AI times the probability of AI divided by the probability of B. If we consider the equality of the first and last member of this chain of equality, this is Bayes' theorem. 
Sometimes in Bayes' theorem, in the denominator, they include the expression of the probability of B that is obtained in the total probability theorem. So that we'd have the probability of A conditional on B would be on top the probability of B conditional on AI times the probability of AI and below the probability of B. By the probability theorem, we'd have this. I personally like the first expression better, and in any case I know that the denominator can be calculated by applying the total probability theorem. I hope you found this useful and that you'll check out other videos on our channel. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and uh, click to get notifications if you like. And I'll see you again very soon to discover more maths.